What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect couscous. Couscous which belongs to the pasta family is simple to make and most times take on the flavor of whatever you add to it. Now this makes it the perfect side dish to make, okay? As usual, I will drop a list of the ingredients used in the description box so be sure to check it out so that you too can cook along with me, alright? Great, so let's get started. In a bowl, add some boiling liquid. I prefer to use chicken stock, but because my chicken stock wasn't enough, I'm using some water and some chicken stock, okay? Now, once I'm done, I'm gonna add in my couscous and then give it a good stir and cover it with a cling film or foil paper. Please note that this is the best way to cook couscous. You don't cook couscous like you do rice or pasta, all right? So cover this um, couscous, this bowl of couscous, and then set it aside for about seven minutes for the couscous to absorb the liquid. Now, while that is happening, take on your shrimps or your prawns, whatever you're using. Before you use the shrimps, be sure to make sure that it is perfectly deveined, okay? You don't want to cook your prawns or shrimps with the veins still in it, so take it all out, okay? And then you're going to pat your um, shrimps or prawns dry with a paper towel. You need to do this so you can get any excess moisture off the prawns. If you don't do this, when you're stir frying the prawns or the shrimps, it's going to bring out liquid, which you don't want, all right? So make sure you pat it dry, it's completely dry, and then you go ahead to season it. The seasonings that I'll be using to season the shrimps will be listed in the description box just like I said earlier, so don't worry about it. I'm adding some Scott Burnett peppers because I love my food spicy. So if you don't like your food spicy, you can omit this particular step. You don't have to add Scott Burnett peppers. Your white pepper or your black pepper should be sufficient, alright? So now mix this together and then set it aside because we'll be using it really, really soon, okay? After about 7 minutes, get out your bowl of couscous to check on it. Guys, do you see how it has absorbed the liquid? Exactly, this is how couscous works. You don't cook it like rice or pasta, no, you don't do that, okay? So once it has absorbed the liquid, be sure to fluff it with a fork just like this and then set it aside, okay? Now in a pan, a clean dry pan, add some cooking oil. Allow your cooking oil get hot a little and then add in some onions. Like I always do, if you've been following this channel, I always like to cook my onions for a few minutes before I'm proceeding with the rest of the cooking, okay? Now add some ginger garlic paste and stir as well, guys. The aroma of this combination is beautiful. It always smells so, so good, okay? Now add in your shrimps, which we have seasoned that we set aside, okay? Add in the shrimps and please do this part on medium high heat, all right? And then cook this for about two minutes before you add in your next ingredient. Like I said, this is a really, really fast meal. It takes no time at all. Uh, um, couscous is already well done. It's absorbed all our liquid. We're now making our vegetables and then we combine both together and in about 10 minutes honestly you should have your dinner ready okay so i've just added my vegetables added some carrots and runner beans now i'm adding some of my spices which i said i'll mention in the description box so you can check it out later and then recreate yours all right so i'm going to stir fry this for a few minutes so that the, some of the so that the spices can cook well all right if you don't think it's enough please feel free to add some more you know just taste that just as you go along after about a minute of cooking your vegetables you can now add your bell pepper because your bell pepper does not need long to cook at all i'm using red you can add your green bell pepper you can add your yellow you know just a mixture of the bell peppers that is totally fine this dish is so forgiving any vegetables you have is perfect just throw it in so i've added some seasoning powder and i'm just stirring everything together now this is perfect it's cooked don't forget to cook on high heat medium high heat preferably okay and i'm adding my couscous now guys once i add my couscous you can tell that this meal is going to be ready soon we're almost done so i'm just going to give everything a good mix so that the couscous you know is well mixed with the vegetables the spices the seasoning everything and remember that we had also cooked our couscous in chicken broth which was seasoned to perfection so everything has its own layer of seasoning which is going to make this dish so so flavorful 
So I've added my spring onions and the minute I add my spring onions most times I just take off the heat because you don't need to cook your spring onions or any vegetable for that matter for so long. So just take it off the heat and it is all set and all ready. There you have it guys, the most amazing and delicious and perfectly cooked couscous guys like this was cooked to perfection look at the grains they're not gummy or anything it is perfectly perfectly cooked guys if you've watched this video up to this point please type yummy in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel become part of this happy growing big family i'd really really like that okay so i'll see you all in my next video until then stay blessed and keep eating good food bye for now